Good afternoon, guys. Uh, so uh, this video uh, I'm going to record here. I will talk about actually, uh, you know, how to use uh, some ifs and maybe count if or count if count ifs. You know, so basically it's gonna be combination of some uh, family and count uh, family functions, right? So uh, and this uh, actually I have requ uh, received several requests, you know, on the same query, almost like same query, and people are, you know, they are actually struggling a little bit in uh, uh, identifying the, you know, options or maybe, uh, you know, that where actually they can uh, use these functions, right? Because they understand the function like sum or sum if count count if, but when it comes to applying them in the direct environment, so they want a kind of a you know uh, example, right? So that they actually get a good understanding that how these functions actually work and how powerful they are, right? So uh, we'll talk about the count for family and we'll talk about the sum family and let's see if we can actually make some kind of a, you know, if I will be able to give you a kind of understanding that these functions actually generally use you know um, in this way, right? So and we'll do it uh, on the different different sheets as uh, per the request I receive. So I have prepared some uh, dummy data here and let me just uh, delete this sheet. So this dummy data is talks about the items. I have some repetitions of the items and the sales done on the same day within the day. If it is a within the day, then it is again repeated. And uh, as you can see here, I have some uh, uh, item code uh, which uh, you know uh, sold for like you know 100 items was sold and on the date 29th of May and then again you know uh, so you keep on adding the data so what exactly we are looking is uh, first I need to give you the understanding how very actually you can use it uh, but before I do that uh, you know our purpose uh, would be something like this that if you uh, write here the curd then uh, you know something should pop up and say that your total sales for the curd item is this much and uh, the count of the curd item you know is this much you know in your data which is being repeated right so uh, go to this sheet where we are actually going to prepare this now what we, what exactly I want is in order to make it dynamic I want to create a drop down here right of all the sheets so do one thing uh, because I have a repetition of the sheets over here copy this data and uh, go to the sheet and uh, just paste this data and go to the option called remove duplicates and uh, just remove them all the duplicates I don't have any header so I'll just keep this unchecked watch my uh, video by the way on the remove duplicates in case if you are looking for some extra knowledge on the remove duplicate option but here I will just uh, stick to this only point and uh, I have all the now sheet names here so what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm just gonna copy them somewhere maybe over here and I'll just paste them right uh, over here and here, uh, so let me just quickly delete it from here. And here we actually are going to create the data validation. So in case if you're not aware about the data validation again, then please go and watch my videos on the data validation. Uh, I have uploaded around four or five videos on the data validation. So this is where actually we are going to create the list. And from here, I'll get the list and press OK, right? And uh, so. Yeah, so that's my cell. I just forgot actually which cell I used. <laughs> so it took a little time for me. Uh, anyways, so let me just color it and let's just give this a white font. And maybe we can increase the size of it like this. And maybe I can choose some font, maybe something like this. Uh, or maybe I can prefer to choose Arial, which is my favorite actually, Arial Black. So that's how and go to the view and remove the grid lines from there so wh whatever the item I will have now here that's going to give me the actually the count right so what you can do is uh, you can write here the formula which would be count if and the criteria has to be of course in this item so just uh, I'm using this entire range A to A and uh, but make sure if you have a uh, multiple tables in this entire a column then please don't do that prefer to use only you know the particular range right so that's my criteria and so i have the total sold items of the you know uh, this not the sold items but i mean the count of the papaya and this my table is this so i can concatenate it and uh, maybe i can say that count of item and then again you can uh, concatenate this with this item so that it should be visible here and that will look actually nice concatenate this so you'll get this and uh, maybe you can do one more thing uh, create a space here and uh, and 
not here but maybe uh, you can do this that right here you can create the space and this would be like this right so create the space in item as well like this and this is how you can actually uh, write this right so count of item like this and just give this a nice space and count of item papaya uh, so I would say that you can even write here is 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 and give some arrows something like this you know and uh, then of course let's go to this and try to give some color whatever color you want to choose you can choose but ensure that your sheet should not have uh, too many you know uh, contradictory colors because does um, generally be a white coloring our uh, sheet right so you can uh, give the colors to the extent uh, they actually look very nice right so uh, I'm gonna change my spelling yeah right so there we use the county function and uh, let me increase the size of this so you can I mean to say do a lot of things you know you can actually get all other items as well you know counted over here not in this uh, this drop down but maybe you know something else you can do I'm just giving the example so now if I change this to pulses you can see here that it is going to be changed so that's how you can actually you know build this right so whatever the item is there you select it is actually going to display for me uh, display there so I'll also create uh, this uh, kind of a you know uh, maybe I can choose uh, that's one okay so you can you know add a lot of things I mean to say add just a lot of things and say that you know uh, select the items from here and the list and whatever I mean to say you whatever you want to do right all right so next time what we actually want to do is uh, we want to check that you know what exactly the sale is done how many items we have sold so far so for that we can add here some ifs and uh, we are going to sum so I'll use the sum ifs and that's my range so I'll again select the entire B but remember that in case if you have many tables uh, you know uh, below this 21 row or maybe in the future you expect them you have some doubt you know that the table may appear there right so just use this option only and freeze this right but since I know that I will never use this sheet again this is only for you guys so I'm gonna select the entire table right so that's my sum range where this will sum and in my criteria range I'm going to select this because I'm going to put the criteria and the criteria would be of this guava right whatever the item I'm going to select here right so you'll get the 887 which is exactly the you know uh, the number of items sold now I can even do further one thing uh, maybe you can add actually instead of the date I would say that uh, you can even add the week you know instead of date however you can even convert the date into the week that's fine but just thought of you know adding uh, let's let's add some week 2 here okay and let's add some uh, week 3 here like this and uh, let's add this this kind of a stuff so I have week, week details as well so uh, create here again the data validation go to this list and I'm not gonna create this this time with some another uh, cell instead that I can write it directly here because I know that I have just week 1 week 2 and week 3 right perfect all right so here I have the weeks and uh, this two I can color I can color the same and maybe I can uh, you know I'll not give this size uh, that much of size I'll I'll make this little smaller okay so you can't see the week 2 because of the fact that you have to actually change the color to white right so that's how it is um, and uh, maybe you can give this again a seam aerial black right and uh, let's just increase this a little bit here and uh, just like this right so let me just align them center and center from everywhere and uh, what we can do is I can reduce this size a little so that you know it should look like this and now again you can create the border as well that's not the motive of this vodi uh, video but since I'm doing this so let me just tell you how you can actually create your own borders as well 
uh, go to the draw border uh, before that just select the line so possibly I will go for this let's say yellow okay and now I can actually do this kind of a stuff right so this is just I mean whatever line you want to choose you can choose maybe you can choose some different color like this line style so eventually you'll end up getting you know this kind of a grid okay so choice is yours anyways alright so here we are done and now what I want is that uh, this is for the entire uh, uh, you know guava but what if you want to check the sale on the weekly wise you know on week wise for example you have here uh, element your item let's say guava and you have the sale here uh, let's say on the week 2 it's 832 and in week 3 it's gonna be 55 right so this is what exactly you're looking forward to right now it's showing the overall uh, sale so if you sum up this 832 and 55 it's 887 so which is what you're getting here right so maybe if you select the week then it should also change according the week wise so what we can do is uh, we can say that uh, in this criteria we can further go ahead and uh, we can say that now in this criteria 2 I would want that let's give this C to C criteria and in this C to C criteria it should match with my week right and let me just freeze this and uh, let's freeze this as well okay so now I have the two criteria one for the item guava and the week as well right so in the week one I don't have any sale for the guava right so we need to check yeah that's correct we don't have we have just week 2 and week 3 over here right so it means that if I change this to week 2 it should give me some number so it says 832 so let me just check yeah it's 832 correct and let's go ahead and do this week 3 so you have week 3 so you know you have the sales of guava 55 perfect that's what actually I want uh, but I also want you know that uh, it should actually write some most of here so I would say that uh, total uh, let me just put this in string total sale or not the sale maybe total item sold okay total items sold for let's say now you say that concatenate this with this week 3 is put this in quotes and and put the quotes here as well alright so we have some problem here and the problem is uh, uh, let's check total items sold for so what I want is I want to highlight this week 3 and yes so there's the problem you need to concatenate it with this again right uh, week is and you write here is right yeah so let's give some space here uh, like this right that makes sense to me and uh, let's give it a color and uh, maybe white color white is my favorite actually right but it should look really good you know formatting is actually very important sometimes you know you work a lot on the formulas you make a very good sheet you know automatic uh, everything is on the auto mode but then if you don't do a good formatting and I'm not saying that this is a good formatting I'm just telling you right so choose a very color you know uh, good colors very mature colors and so that your dashboard actually should look awesome so that's how I think this is something which we can do and this is how we can you know use the sum if so you can create a lot of uh, stuff like this you know you can create a kind of a dashboard as well so the moment I let's say select the Maggie uh, count of item Maggie is 3 and the total item sold for week 3 is 66 right so if you're gonna check for uh, find out for the week 1 then it says the week 1 is 0 right because we might have not the data over there so we for week 2 it's 3 4 4 and for week 3 it's 6 6 so let us just quickly check if we are actually getting right or not so I'm gonna select this Maggie and let's see now what we have here so for week 3 I have 66 and which is correct right and for week 2 I have 344 right so that's perfect uh, let me just click this yeah so week 1 is not there so that's why it's showing 0 
So this is how you can use these summary functions and uh, you know county functions, and you can do uh, actually a uh, lot of lot of things uh, apart from doing just this. This was just a glimpse of these functions. They are actually very powerful, and uh, maybe if I uh, in future I'll upload some more videos on that. And uh, do leave your comments, guys. What do you think about it? If this has actually changed your you know uh, the entire uh, the way actually you know you used to see the formulas. I hope now this would actually further. Add something into your knowledge, and you would not take these formulas just like average formulas. Basically, they are very powerful when, especially when you actually, uh, you know, uh, use the combinations with other formulas. So, counting and summits can be really, really, very powerful and very dynamic, right? So, uh, that's the end of the my this video. And uh, please uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And uh, one thing more, you can go to my playlist and. Uh, uh there you can see a lot of things like uh, videos on the arrays uh, videos on the charts and the pivots right and i have uploaded around 40 videos on the excel and then i think 20 videos on the vba so you can watch whatever video suits you as per your requirement and if in case if you have some issues just let me know that this is my email id drop me an email and i'll try to upload the video and i'll try to share it with you as soon as i can right so thank you so much have a very wonderful day bye bye